All right, welcome back. Mr. Vincent here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. All right, today what we're going to be looking at specifically is how we can modify and change our syllabus at the bottom of our website. There's lots of different ways to do this. There's no right or wrong way. If you already know how to do it, you can just totally skip this video right now. But I'm going to go back over into Google Sites. This is where I would edit my website. And you'll see there's this nice spot at the bottom, copy and paste your syllabus here. Now, if you've already got it in your Google Drive, you know, obviously, um, I'm gonna get rid of that section. We can go in over here, you know, you can put in, oh, I wanna add a Google Doc. And what should happen over on this side at the top is I can find the file as my syllabus and I can click insert and it will kind of just appear there, you know? Uh, nice thing about doing it this way is whenever you update your syllabus, it will update your website too. Okay, so if you've got it in Google Drive, all you need to do is put it in, then click publish at the top up here, click publish, and it will update your website. Again, that, that publish button is so important. If you make a change and don't click publish, your parents won't see it. You'll have the old version up there. So just make sure you click publish all the time. Click publish on that. But there's other ways to do it too. So, you know, maybe it's not in Google, maybe you made it in Word, you know, that's totally fine, okay? And so um, it, here is the folder in Teams that has all of our syllabi in the Computech faculty. I'm just gonna look at one here. Um, whose is this? Who, if this is your syllabus, hey, Mr. Weems, welcome to Computech, we're glad to have you. Um, some cool pictures here in the syllabus, some course descriptions, you know, that kind of thing. Even your signature. All right, so obviously um, copying and pasting, you would need to get the whole thing small enough to fit on your screen in the first place. And this is a very, very tall syllabus, multiple pages. And so this copy and pasting might not be the best way here, but what you can do is obviously use the snipping tool if you so chose. Uh, please don't do it this far out in this. It'll just be blurry, but you can just uh, take the image. You know, there's your image of your syllabus and you can save it. I It's way too much here. Um, and then when we go back into our website, we can insert an image. Okay, so that's gonna be up here at the top, up there. And I'm going to upload an image and you can put it in that way. Okay, so there's Mr. Weems syllabus. You'll see it's blurry. That's because it was so zoomed out when I took a picture of it. Other ways you can do your syllabus here. You can also take the file from your Google Drive and copy and paste the information. So that might not be a bad idea either. So if we have uh, syllabus here, you know, I can, I have a lot of links in mind, so I can just take these links, put them over here, add a text box and paste in everything. Okay, whichever way you wanna do it to get your syllabus there, totally fine. Just make sure parents have a way to get to the, your syllabus. And if it's all on the same page, parents know how to get to it. They don't have to reach out to counselors for individual teachers syllabi. Okay, again at the top here, after each time, click that publish button. If you don't click that publish button, it's not going to update. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out.